We wait in line. One movie at a time. That's all that matters. What's up, everybody? Lou Von Ruman here, back for the third week in a row with Waiting in Line. Before we begin, uh, you know, we we have been getting a lot of feedback uh, for our videos, and I wanted to let you know that you know stardom hasn't gotten to our heads just yet. One of the common things that we keep hearing is that our background um, might be a little bit on the dull side. Uh, it's actually a Ray Charles Stevie Wonder collaboration. Don't worry, we've devised a brilliant solution to fix this, which we're gonna do right now. Let me just, all right, so just gonna go over here. Boom! Brilliant! <laughs> we're I done. Mean... Problem solved. Background is now interesting, and I'm on break. While he's on break, let's check out a clip from the movie The Call with Halle Berry. Check it out. <laughs> 911, where's your emergency? <gasps> Officers are gonna be there any second. He's going back downstairs. Leia? <gasps> I can hear the phone ring. Hey, oh, hey we're, we're back. back. <laughs> yes, uh, we're back. We are back. Halle Berry is directly responsible for getting a little girl killed. Six months later, we spend what seems like an eternity trying to make sure she doesn't do it again. That's the, the movie. <laughs> what did this movie do wrong? Well, just about everything. It broke the cardinal rule of movie making. Everybody knows you never go full retard. Halle Berry did it. The kidnapped girl in the trunk did it. The police did it. The director did it. Everybody pretty much did it. <laughs> yep. Mm. Abigail Breslin plays the part of the teenage girl that gets kidnapped at a local mall. My biggest problem is I just couldn't stand her character. I liked her in previous movies, like Definitely Maybe. In this movie, she was absolutely irritating. Yeah, the, it, it was just, it was a lot of... No, 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 no! Oh my god, help me! Help me, help me! Oh my god, help me! <laughs> it's like, shut up! Fuck, you're in the back of a trunk, get over it! Hey, Roman, how long do you suppose it takes to trace the location of a cell phone? Eh, maybe two or three minutes. That's what I thought, too. But apparently, it takes a lot longer. Abigail's character, being on the phone for an hour and a half, did not give the police enough time to track down the location of that cell phone. Do you know what that really suggests, Roman? Mm. It suggests that every single movie up until now that involves the bad guys going through all sorts of different hoops, trying to make sure that they're not traced by the CAA, could have simply been prevented by them buying a disposable phone. Another issue I had that constantly came up was Halle Berry's lack of expressions. She had this one. And she used that expression the entire fucking movie. It didn't matter if people were laughing or crying, she was constantly like... What makes a convincing villain is his own twisted set of morals, which are misinterpreted from his standpoint. Everything is hunky-dory. From the general public's perspective, it's the most vile and villainous stuff ever. The problem with our villain here is that he had no moral code. He was just fucking crazy, and uh, they tried to make him out to be smart. But he really wasn't. He was just an idiot. He was a Wait, guy. Wait, quick who... question here. I, I have to know this. Okay. What was his motive? I, he liked blonde hair. That's the only thing we got out of it. Okay. He liked blonde hair and he liked to make out with his sister. Which makes villains. There you go. This movie was directed by Brian Anderson. And what Brian Anderson failed to do was just about everything that a director should be doing. Uh, most of it was unrealistic. Let's talk about some of the unrealistic things in this movie. At the beginning of the movie, Abigail Breslin is instructed to kick out the taillights. The taillight assembly is bolted to the frame, which means that you can't really kick it from the inside. Unless you're the Hulk. Or Shrek. Check out the following scene and, and see if you could tell what's wrong with it. Kick the taillights out. I did it. Good work. And I want to see if any other car is going to be- It's physically impossible for a human hand to go through that hole. It's made for light bulbs to go in there. I'm pretty sure even midgets couldn't fit their hand through there. Oh, sorry, people McNuggets. <laughs> Halle Berry is on the phone with a customer, so to speak, and she's freaking out over the fact that there's a uh, raging psychopath killer in her house, and as soon as the line disconnects, she decides to call her back? Are you serious? One thing that we should touch on quickly is the terrible police work. They went to the crime scene and left without actually searching the premises. They didn't, they didn't look at all. It was ridiculous. It got to the point where Halle Berry had to walk on premise and find the broken phone which was right next to his secret hideout. Da, da, da. I can't even believe that people actually get paid for this shit. Like, this is a terrible movie, and it just seems like a big waste of time for everybody. You know, I actually kind of wonder how the, the pitch for this movie went. I've got an idea for a movie. Pitch it. Halle Berry, The Call, Incest, Rape, Brother. I like it. Here's a bag of money. Yes. Knuckle bump. Boop. 
Seriously, I wish somebody would greenlight me like that. And I know what you're all thinking. Whoa, Ruman and Lupo, do you think you could do better? As a matter of fact, I think we can. Yes, we can. Leia? Oh no. Why would you call me back? Now he knows exactly where I am. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm probably gonna die now. You're a terrible person, and I hope this haunts you for the next six months. <laughs> Keep hurt. The phone rang. No. Ah! Well, it's that time of the segment again, where we get to grade the movie. Woo. But before we do, we actually had a couple of our fans email us. Uh, with a very interesting question and basically what they said was hey, you know what we understand that you guys grew up in Bulgaria Well, what exactly does you know one out of six or three out of six or six out of six? What does that actually mean to you? So here it is in line give this movie as a grade a Recommendation to illegally download it. They struggle to think about this movie. We give it a solid one yeah, that's pretty much all you can give this movie. We're really surprised it didn't go straight to DVD. That pretty much sums everything up for us. Thanks for joining us again. My name is Lubo. This is my brother Ruman, a.k.a. Pru from The Daily Struggle. Join us next week when we go check out Olympus Has Fallen with Gerard Butler. Oh, he's so, so dreamy. dreamy. Oh, my God. Make sure you subscribe if you like what we do or if you hate it. And, and uh, just let us know in one of the comments. If you want to see anything else, please let us know. We're open for suggestions. See, we've got the background. Overall, though, you got to admit, this movie did do one thing really well. Yeah, it ended.